Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Farmer Jolly and this is our Let's Play on Court Farms. You're joining us on a very dark early December morning. We're just on our way back from the shop because I noticed overnight the cattle ran out of feed. So I thought rather than giving them more hay, we would give them some total mixed ration. So we've just been to the shop and picked up this brand new TMR mixer. It is leased, but talking of leased equipment, we have also handed, well not handed back, we have handed back the weeder, but we've also purchased some other equipment that we um, had leased. So we now own it, things like the telehandler we now own which is brilliant um it's been a very busy one off uh, off screen we've like i say we've if i jump into the shop and show you the least we now don't have much least we've got the jcb still the rear mower the feed um mixer and the straw shredder and the soil sampling unit. I was going to return that, but we've got two fields that we haven't sampled. So I'm going to keep a hold of it just until we can sample those fields and then we'll get it sent back. But we now own all of this. But what else we, what, the other thing we've been doing is we've run the inspection on the Massey so that. If I just jump in, this is ready to be repaired because you can see in the bottom right corner there's not much, uh, it need, well it's desperately in need of maintenance. So if we jump back into this menu we've got six damages which is going to be done at 20 past 6 and cost us £2,440 and that's quite reasonable actually so we will go with that but that does mean we can't use the Massey all day so we're going to have to make use of that JCB of the JCBs so I think, there it is I was going to say I think I parked it around here Let's, that's what we needed and my lights not my beacons Pull this out and let's get these cattle some feed. They've used quite a bit of the space in the slurry tank, so we, we are going to have to have a look at um, why were that? Oh, that has disconnected. There we go, didn't hear it disconnect. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to have a look at what we can do to free up some space, whether we sell it or use it as fertiliser. So we'll just grab this and we get ourselves a bit in a bit of a nicer position. Uh, I think we're going to need to pull the HUD up. so that we can maybe we can see it from the outside but we will find out we're going to need to get some bales so let's get into the telehandler let's go and grab a silage bale and hope that we can uh, There, get this TMR ready. We've not got much silage bales. We've got a lot of hay bales, so if we need to, we can keep topping them up with the hay. But hopefully, we will be able to make at least one batch of the t of the TMR. Right. 
to be moving. Oh. There we go. So now we come back up. That's got it. And I believe that has started. Yep. So we've got one bale in. Let's go and grab a straw bale. This is going to be a lot of trial and error, I think. Purely because I don't actually know what the recipe is going to require. We have a lot of straw. So if it needs anything else, we will be putting straw in. So I believe once we've done this, it's just going to be a hay bale that we're going to need. It's taking the straw. It's a really good sign. I was uh, slightly concerned that it wasn't going to work. So we'll drop that in. Grab the, uh, oh, the drive helps. Go grab the hay bale. I have collected the hay bale that was on the side of the road. I gave, did give that to the castle last night, but. Obviously, one hay bale wasn't enough. As they ran out. There we go. So. I'm not sure how much they're going to take. We shall soon find out. Just leave that there for a second. How's this looking? Not quite here, more. I need it to tell me, really. There we go. That's better. Uh, right, too much straw, so another, another grass bale. That should work. There we go. So hopefully with another grass bale, we will have TMR. Grab the one if we can. Oops. Would help if we, uh, we go, lifted it up just enough. We've also got most of our equipment back from the other farm now as well. So just keep an eye on this. We might need another silage bale, I'm not sure. Yeah, we're gonna need another silage bale. So I think to give us a really good mix, we're going to have two silage bales. Uh, two grass bales and one straw bale. But that could be because the straw bales are a lot bigger than these. So if we grab this one here. I think the uh, silage and the grass bales are 5,500 litres, while the straw are about 7,500, which 
is going to make a bit of difference. We'll get this lifted up. Hopefully, we will be able. No. Right, that is a challenge. Put that there. Because we've not got a good mix, I don't know if it's going to let me overload it. Well, I'll overload it, unload it, that's the word I needed. We will try it. Oh, it is. Hopefully, it will make it to TMR in a second. There we go, we've got TMR. And we can just double check by having a look at the animals. Yes, yeah, so they've got hay and TMR going in now. At least that worked out, it could have been a lot worse. I'm not sure how much it is. This holds quite a bit. In fact, we've still got 55% in this uh, feed mixer. I'm quite impressed with that. We could do another one as well. Yeah. Let's do that. While it's unloading, let's let's make another mixture up. We've got the uh, we've got what we need to do that. So we might as well make another one up if I can squeeze down the side. Yep, there we go. So we need the two silage bales. It's just unfortunate that this is now the uh, last portion of TMR that we can make. It's going to be quite a heavy load as well. Just see if we can squeeze round. There we go. So, I just realised the uh, JCB needs its inspection next month as well. It's it's wear and tear isn't too bad, but it does need it. So, let's try and zoom back in a bit. Or at least get ourselves in a bit of a better position. forward and yeah. right 
so I will crack on with this as it's evidently going to take me a bit longer than I was hoping and I will see you once the cattle have got their uh, TMR I will see you in a bit Welcome back from that short time lapse. Well, uh, just have a quick look and see. Yeah, so that's hopefully going to last quite a while. Oh, we do need to sell the slurry desperately. Uh, I know they don't have any straw, but they have filled the manure. Right, let's have a quick look. How much can we sell slurry for? And where? I might have gone past it. Nope, slurry, there we go. So 64. Actually, that's at its highest. I think we should be, uh, I think we should sell it, but the problem is, I don't know if we've got, I mean, we haven't got means to transport it yet, I just have a quick look and see if there's anything we need to do with our fields, and how they are going, so the grass is ready to harvest, uh, oh, let's, let's turn the grass off so we can see a bit clearer. Okay, so that needs to be planted. That needs to be planted. Those two are growing. Once we've uh, cut these, we will try and get rid of them and bring them back over here. Um, how much feed have the cattle got now? That's finished. About half, okay, that's, that's good going. Right. Let's have a look and see. Is there anything in here? No, it's a shame. I was hoping there'd be a um, slurry tank. Fifteen. Twenty-one. What's the leasing cost of this? I don't know if we're going to make our money back. What about this one? What was this? That's 1,000. These two are very similar. Yeah, we'll go with this. Okay. Right. Let's get this just put out of the way for now. I need to find somewhere I can put it, which is going to be the challenge. Let's try and stick it in with the uh, straw bales for now. I think that's going to be our best bet. be overly neat. I'll just put that there. There we go. So I have got a weight here. So we'll grab that. Just to give us a bit of a helping hand. Right. I 
keep meaning to put a pressure washer down as well. I think I know where I want it as well. Actually, how much fuel have we got? Are we running that? No, we're okay for a bit. What am I, what am I stuck on? Apparently we're... I'm stuck on something. I'm really confused. Okay, nope. Uh, I'm just being incompetent. I uh, <laughs> pushing the brake. <laughs> Tractor won't move if I'm pushing the brake. We'll just grab our um, jump into the construction menu and get a get the bear uh, cart to washer. Install. I think we're gonna go. About here. There we go. Right, try oh, drive. Pull that there. Give this a really quick clean so we can see what we're doing. Nope. Uh, about 80 90 percent dirty we are already on 50 so get this nice and clean and then we should be able to see a bit better I give it way too quickly while we're here as well make our equipment look all nice and shiny So I'm going to head on over to the store, we'll pick up the slurry tanker, if I can push the right button, we'll push the, uh, we'll get the slurry tanker and get back with, and fill that up and go and sell a load. So I will see you in a minute. We've uh, just got back with the slurry tanker and I was having a think during the drive as to why we're not getting any milk from the uh, from the cows. So it's still at zero and their productivity is really low. I know they ran out of feed but it's still really low. And then I realised we're playing with uh, the realistic animal uh, mod, I think that's what it's called. Uh, correct me in the if I'm wrong in the comments. Um, but of course, they're not going to reproduce or produce milk because to produce milk, they need to have reproduced and they haven't yet because there's no bull. So let's just run up here. There we go. One male Holstein bull. We'll get him delivered. There he is. There is the bull. So hopefully, I believe that's the bull. We'll say it's the bull. <laughs> um, hopefully, that means we will start getting milk from the animals as well as calves that we can sell at some point to give us a bit of income rather than feeding them and not gaining anything from them. So hopefully the next in-game month we will have some little calves. But anyway, back to the slurry. We've got to take this to the biomass plant 
which isn't too far away, but it does, on the only downside, only hold 15,000 litres, and we've got about hundreds of this. 85 left, so we're going to have a lot of trips. But the goal is, we'll get all of the slurry sold today. And because it's quite heavy, we're only doing 17 miles an hour up the hill. So, we will get ourselves to the biomass plant. There we go, we're getting, getting a bit more speed now. Get this sold, see how much we get from one trailer load. Because I'm still nervous that the nearly two grand we've spent leasing the slurry tanker, I'm nervous we're not going to make that money back. But we should be able to figure it out once we get here. I actually need to have a quick look as to where we've got to sell it. That would be really useful. Let's tag that. That's just around the corner. We'll bring up our HUD. And there we go. So let's see how much we can make. So we've only got 88,614. It's going up quite slowly, but then again it is emptying quite slowly. Hopefully we'll make some make our money back. Yeah, we made about a thousand there, so, so yeah, we should make our money back quite easily. So I think so we've got quite a few trips. Yeah, we'll time lapse a bit um, and probably skip a bit. I think probably the best best solution because um, I'm assuming you're not going to want to see me just driving backwards and forwards down the same stretch of road the whole time. So I'll put this into a time lapse for a bit and get a few more loads done. And then I will see you once we're on the last load. So, I will see you in a bit. We've sold about half of the slurry at the moment. We made about 2,900-ish pounds. So we should have about the same, maybe a little bit more to come in when we finish that. Um, but we've, we've currently made a loss of over 12,000 pounds this month. Uh, 626, 
for water. 9,000 leasing. Uh, 2,000 running the vehicles. £1,000 for building the... Uh, installing the pressure washer. The £1,000 for the bull. And another 1,200 with um, new vehicles, which was the bell spike for the telehandler. So we've got a lot of things that we need to, um, that we're gonna need to figure out so we can make some money this month. Uh, but hopefully, maybe we look at taking out a contract in, ooh. Actually, Field 111, where's that? That won't take us too long. Right, what I think we're going to do, because that's not a bad price, we're going to accept that contract because we've got a plough, and start of the next episode, we will get that field ploughed for, uh, for that owner and get that money in. So we will accept that contract so we got that ready to go we'll just double check yep right but anyway for now thank you very much for watching this episode i really do hope you've enjoyed it and if you have it would mean a great deal if you consider to li consider liking the video and even subscribing to the channel uh, if you like i say if, if you've enjoyed it then hopefully we will see you back for the next episode thank you very much for watching again and we'll see you later. Bye for now.